So you brought up the question of how does this potentially affect contracts for Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl? I I think it probably gives you a bit of a framework here. Um, like Leon Dreisaitl is going to sign. He's 27 right now. So again, UFA at 29, assuming he wants the eight-year ticket, that is his one or his second big, big contract. I think you're probably looking at a 14 to 15 and a half million dollar AAV for Leon Dreisaitl. When it comes to Connor McDavid, it's going to be all about what Connor wants, right? Does he want to be the highest paid player in the NHL? Does he want to leave a little bit of money on the table so everyone in the core can stay intact? We'll see. My prediction right now would be 14 and a half for Leon, 16 and a half for Connor. But I also wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they met that in the middle and did matching, like had matching deals. I know they wouldn't obviously be signed at, uh, at the same time, but yeah, Yash asked, how do you make the money for all of that? And I actually think it's, it's not as daunting as some people would lead you yeah. to believe. So first off, the summer that Leon Dreisaitl and Evan Bouchard are UFAs, Cap Friendly has the cap being $92 million, which is probably fair. It could be a little higher, but we'll use that 92. And they have $38 million in cap space. That is with both Stuart Skinner and Jack Campbell signed. That is with three other defensemen all under contract, Nurse, Ekholm, and Kulak. And that is with four forwards under contract. So not a ton in terms of roster pieces signed. It's only nine players, but you have 38 million bucks. If Dreisaitl takes up, let's call it 15, you're down to 23 mil. Let's say Bouchard needs eight. You're down to $15 million with 11 players signed. So you need to sign 12 guys with that 15 million. Mildly daunting. I totally, totally understand that. But you could do something like an Evander Kane bio because he'd be heading into the last year of his deal. All of a sudden, I think moving on from Jack Campbell could be a lot easier to do in that final season. I, I'm not sitting here saying it's a cakewalk, but I don't think it'll be as tight and stressful as some people think because, again, 11 players with $15 million. Not ideal. And again, that's kind of some outer marker stuff with Dreisaitl and Bouchard taking up 23 million of that. It's outer marker stuff. But again, your key players are locked up, right? Like you have, again, your top five, six forwards would be under contract. Your top four defense or top three defensemen would be locked up and under contract. I'm not that worried about it personally, Liam. You will find a way to make it work is kind of my point. I, I have no concern about it. If the the Edmonton Oilers have been waiting for this day basically since both those guys signed the contracts, yeah. they knew they were going to have to pay them whatever it was going to be, and they're going to figure it out. There's no way the Edmonton Oilers are going to go into these negotiations and not have enough money for these two guys to play and then build a team after it. There's a plan in place. There has to be already. Yeah, yeah. and again, the cap should be higher than 92, yes. I think. Um, so, yeah, I, it, and again, it's a long ways down the road, like, I know people were like, oh, man, why didn't you go long term with Bouchard? Why didn't you find a way to make it work? The bottom line is you're in win now mode if you're the Oilers. And the goal is to get players for as cheap as possible. Signing Evan Bouchard for $3.9 million versus, in air quotes, making it work to get him a 7 by 7 extension, which we don't even know if he would have signed. That $4 million is significant. That even if it was three and a half million dollars was the difference. That's significant. You need that money for players on your roster right now because you're trying to win a Stanley Cup. The goal is not to keep Evan Bouchard and Euler for as long as possible, for as cheap as possible, as great as that would be. The goal is to win Stanley Cups in the next two years. And to do that, you get guys on bridge deals. So again, I, I think there's some people who like to run around like the sky is falling 24-7 with this organization. And the bottom line is it's not. And you can sit there and be like, how are they going to sign Bouchard and Dreisaitl in two years? You make it happen. When you have good players, you find a way to keep good players. If Leon Dreisaitl ends up walking away as an unrestricted free agent, it will not be because he wanted too much money. No. This is not those Oilers anymore. This isn't the Oilers of the early 2000s. It will be because he wants a new challenge and he wants to move on. Point blank, end of period. If he wants to be an Oiler, they will make a deal work 